Good morning. I wonder what you like to eat first thing in the morning. What's your favourite breakfast? I quite like porridge, but Frosties, they're not so bad either. Um, but my story today is about uh, a little girl and her mum. And the little girl's favourite breakfast was porridge. In particular, her favourite porridge was the porridge made by her aunt up in Orkney. So imagine how happy she was one time when she was visiting her aunt up in Orkney when her aunt gave her the magic porridge pot that was used to make the porridge that she liked so much. And her aunt said to her, okay, to make it start making porridge, you say, make porridge. Easy. And to make it stop making porridge, you just say, enough porridge. The girl was so happy. So when she went back to, uh, to stay with her mum again, um, she made porridge for them every morning for a week. And everything was fine. Until one day, well, the little girl had to go to school. So she made porridge in the morning and then went off to school. But about the middle of the day, you know, lunchtime, her mum was feeling a little bit peckish. Well, actually, her mum was feeling really hungry because she'd done lots of work. And she decided that she would have some porridge. So she went to the porridge pot and she said, make porridge. And just like it happened every morning, the porridge pot started to make porridge. So. Uh, her mum had a bowl of porridge. That was great. But the problem was her mum hadn't remembered how to say, well, how to get the porridge pot to stop making porridge. So after the first bowl and the second bowl, her mum was feeling quite full. Um, and so she went, stop porridge. Stop making porridge. Cease. Uh, finish making porridge. Uh, and then she panicked and ran out of the house. All this time, the porridge pot was making porridge. The kitchen got full of porridge. The front room got full of porridge. The whole house became full of porridge. Now, I'm sure you remember how to make the pot stop making porridge. But the mother, by this time, was seeing her entire house covered in porridge and she couldn't do anything. So she ran to the neighbours and the neighbours didn't know what to do. And the porridge kept flowing out of the kitchen windows, down the garden, down the street. Cars were being covered in a massive tidal wave of porridge, because I think the porridge pot had kind of got to like it and was having fun. Fortunately, it wasn't long until uh, the end of school. And the little girl, when she saw the porridge just rolling down, uh, towards her school, realised what had happened. So she quickly ran home, well, more like swam home, I suppose, and she got to the porridge pot and she shouted, yeah, enough porridge, because there really was enough porridge. Enough porridge, so much porridge, in fact, that everybody had to eat their way home from work. Well, so the story had a happy end. But you need to think. When is enough? And when you have enough of a good thing, how do you stop? And when you have enough of a good thing, how do you stop? And when you have enough of a good thing, how do you stop?